We're here at Indianapolis, Indiana, a hot, humid afternoon for the 12th Annual National Hot Rod Association Drag Championships. Hello, everybody. I'm Keith Jackson, uh, along with 100,000 other people here to watch the drag championships. This is the fourth year that ABC's Wide World of Sports has brought you the drag championships. We started out with the Winter Nationals, then the Spring Nationals, and now the big prize, the National Championship. 1,350 feet of asphalt out there, 200, 220 miles an hour for some of these screaming demons. So the National Drag Championship fits right in as ABC's Wide World of Sports continues to bring you the top sports event throughout the world. Thank you very much, Jim, and I'll guarantee you we can match you with noise and enthusiasm here at Indianapolis for the National Drag Championships. Right now, let's talk to a couple who has come from the West Coast and living now in, in Cincinnati, Mr. and Mrs. Kurukawa. What is your impression of drag racing? I'm very enthused about it. That's why I come up here. I try and come up here every year and watch it. How many races have you seen? This is my first, but I'm quite impressed with this one. First one you've seen? Yes, it is. That husband of yours sounds like he might like to get into it. What do you think about it? I wish he wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice Thank to you. see you. Nice to see you. What do you like about drag racing? Oh, it's just fabulous. All the fun and fast speed. <laughs> All the speed. And my husband drives. And I've drove. You've driven? Yeah. We had a we had a GTO, a 65 GTO. And I raced at a hometown race track for the first time and won a trophy. How fast? It was just the eighth mile strip. And I turned to 902. And I don't know the speed. You don't know the speed? No. You won. It wasn't. Well, it's just eight miles. How about you? What do you like about drag racing? Oh, I like the cars and the beauty of it all. We're sisters, and we have a tough time competing against each other. All the excitement of it all. How far did you travel? Uh, from Lexington, Kentucky. I'll give you an idea. How about you, sir? What do you like about drag racing? Well, it's everything. It's the excitement, the fun, the thrill of just the marvelous. Do you ever take part yourself? Yes, I do. I participate in quite a bit. Where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri. So they come from everywhere. And so the drivers, 49 states represented in the driving corps. We're set now for the semifinals in the top stock competition. Feeding here, Bill Jenkins, 1966 Chevy 2, four-speed ship. His competition comes from Don Grothier, Oklahoma City, 66 Plymouth, also four-speed. The winner, Bill Jenkins, better than 118 miles an hour. <laughs> Semifinals, Jerry Stahl in the White Plymouth, 66, four speed. Richard Charbonneau, St. Paul, Minnesota, 66 Plymouth, automatic transmission. Jer Stahl from York, Pennsylvania wins it. So, we go to the finals. It'll be Jer Stahl and Bill Jenkins for the top stock competition. And now, the top stock finals. Jerry Stahl in the White Plymouth, York, Pennsylvania. Bill Jenkins, Chevy 2, Berwyn, Pennsylvania. This, a big moment. Stahl has won it better than 119 miles an hour so he wins the top stock championship and we'll be marching on to the exciting conclusion the meeting of the fastest the fuel dragsters in just a moment and now here come the big boys the top fuel eliminators the wind-up event in the national drag racing championships in the far lane Don Westerdale Ferndale Michigan near lane Danny Ungaius Carlsbad California and Don Westerdale's Dragster did not start. He's out of it. They roll him away. It's a tough sport. You come to that line fired and ready to go, or else you're out. Westerdale is out. So Angaius moves into the semifinals. Don Prudhomme and John Mulligan move up for the semifinal run here, contesting for the semifinal position. Prudhomme in the far lane. Mulligan closest to us. They're ready to go. Prudhomme winning better than 210 miles an hour. Mulligan seemed to veer to the left side of the track and he lost a valuable split second. So Prudhomme is the winner. This is the cockpit of the car to beat. The steering mechanism. The handbrakes. 
the parachute release. The Hawaiian, the car bidding for a fourth successive major title. This dragster, a virtual blue streak of lightning in competition. The driver, Max Snively, San Bernardino, California. The legend of this car, or this dragster, is something to remember. It won the Winter Nationals and the Nationals in 65 with Don Prudhomme. You won the Winter Nationals this year, and now you're trying for the Nationals. If you're successful, it means four successful NHRA major titles. Well, this is right, and it's never been done by any car or even driver before. But, uh, the car is definitely a good car, and there's a lot of time and a lot of hard labor spent on it. And uh, it's the best the money can buy. And uh, we'll be out there trying the best we know how to win again. Well, you've got a chance to put your name in the record book. We wish you the best. Thank you very much. Mike Snively driving the Hawaiian, the sit-out car. And so Mike Snively and his Hawaiian dragster wait. It'll be the final moment right here for one of these two, Danny Ongaius, Carlsbad, California, Don Prudhomme, Granada Hills, California, Prudhomme in the far lane, Ongaius in the near lane. Buster Couch setting them for the start. This is the semifinal. The winner goes against the Hawaiian in the final. It's Danny Ongaius winning. Hawaiian-born Danny Ongaius from Carlsbad, California, wins the right to go against the Hawaiian dragster driven by Mike Snively. It's an exciting moment for Danny Ongaius as he beats a veteran Don Prudhomme. And the crew waiting for him as he wheels off the track. An excited crew. The sit-out car has never lost in national competition. And as Danny Ongaius hops out of that cockpit, he knows he's got a big moment coming. Final adjustments will be made. They know the challenge. Anytime man involves himself in this kind of speed, such as we're seeing in the National Drag Racing Championships, he certainly opens the door to all kinds of risks. Luck ran out on veteran driver Jim Riley from Garwood, New Jersey. He was killed during the time trials. Here's how it happened. 30-year-old Jim Riley, in the time trials, had crossed the finish line his engine blew, oil splashed onto the track, causing the skid off the track and into the guardrail. It happened suddenly, as so often these accidents do in speed racing, speed competition of any kind. It was a shock at the National Drag Racing Championships. Jim Riley competing in an A-class dragster, had completed his time trial. When the engine blew and the oil hit the track, he was traveling at roughly 170 miles an hour. It is the first fatality in eight years of national drag racing competition. Over 80,000 time runs, virtually accident-free. certainly extend our deepest sympathies to Jim Riley's family, but according to the dictates of the sport of racing, the competition goes right on. And so we move to the final event of the 12th National Drag Racing Championship, Raceway Park, Indianapolis, Indiana. In the near lane, the Hawaiian, the sit-out car, and remember, a sit-out car has never lost in the national championship. In the far lane, a Honda, Danny Ungaius, both Californians. This is the final event. This is the big moment. Buster Couch, the starter, sets them. They're ready. And they're almost together as they flash over the finish line. Let's wait a moment and see what the arrow points to. The near lane, that's the Hawaiian. The car continues its remarkable success. Mike Snively winning. Danny Ungaia circling off the track he is a close second. Here comes the Hawaiian. Keith Black, the man who built up the engine. Roland Leong, the man who owns the car, and the man who drove it to victory. Mike Snively, San Bernardino, California. Tremendously exciting finish. So exciting, let's go back and have a second look. And we're told that it was actually a foul on the part of Danny Ongaius. But neither man knew it, and they went full bore. For example, hear this. Mike Snively in winning in the Hawaiian, 215.8 miles an hour. 
so close at the finish of the veritable blue streak as they flashed over the line. So we'll be talking with the top fuel champion Mike Snively in just a moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, you hold up the tradition of the sit-out man being the winner. Well, we sure tried awful hard to do that, that's for sure. <laughs> Roland Leong, owner of the car. Yes. You must be a pretty happy young man. I am very happy. You're building quite a legend with this machine, and it won't lose. Yes, we've been pretty successful. How did it work for you? Everything just right? Everything worked just exactly the way it was supposed to. <laughs> you try anything new? Come up with any new devices for this race, Mike? Well, we tried a new injection system, and it seems to be working out real well. Keith Black, the man who puts the engines together, Roland Leong, the owner of the car, and the driver, Mike Snively, San Bernardino, California. That's the champion, the top fuel eliminator. And that'll do it from the 12th Annual National Drag Racing Championships. We'd like to thank Wally Parks, the president of the National Hot Rod Association, very much for his cooperation. Jack Hart, the events director, and certainly all the contestants for providing the excitement on ABC's wide world of sports. This is Keith Jackson, Raceway Park, Indianapolis. The executive producer of ABC's wide world of sports is Rune Arledge. The Japanese All-Star Baseball game produced by Dick Kirshner. The National Drag Racing Championship produced by Ned Steckel and directed by Lou Popicelli. Associate Director in New York, Dick Fittinger. Engineering Supervisor in Tokyo, John Crowder. Coordinating Producer, Jim Spence. Dizzy Dean's appearance through the courtesy of the Falstaff Brewing Corporation and our baseball remote pickup from Tokyo by NHK, the Japanese television network. Again, a reminder to join us next week for our exclusive coverage in color of the Southern 500 stock car race from Darlington, South Carolina, and the All-Ireland Hurling Championships from Dublin. Today's program, pre-recorded. Air travel arrangements for ABC's wide world of sports made through United Airlines, who also furnished promotional consideration. <laughs>